I've always known that in another life I can fly. And that's why in this life I dance. Or at least, why I used to dance. It's starting to feel like it happened to someone else, those three years we spent at the Academy. Now all I see is a blank page and one giant question mark. Because, after all, who am I? Who is anyone? Without a dream. Right. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm up to. Mm. OK, thank you, Tara. So, to recap, awkward, cisgen country chick with entitlement issues. <laughs> because that's a likeable protagonist. And so she gets into a ballet school, and she's not good, and then she is good. And then she has a boyfriend who is essentially Edward Cullen in tight. <laughs> and then my friend dies. I like that part. And so Cara uh, dances for her friend's memory, and then... Plot twist. In her final audition, slips on a bead, breaks her back, and oh my god, will she ever dance again? <laughs> you know, more or less. Feedback for Tara. Keep it constructive, vultures. I'm half underwhelmed. I still have an issue that it's ballet. She didn't get a dream. Get over it. West Africa, still starving. It's just we were told to write from a place of experience. Yeah, there's what happened, and then there's truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think this is your personal narrative, but you ain't scratched the surface. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, mm -hmm. You have kind of been writing about ballet all semester. Maybe it's time to start writing about something else. Tara, Tara, where, where are the rest of the glasses? Uh, Come on, move. Yeah? And remember, we're feeding old rich people. Yes? Not the dancers. No duck pancakes for the dancers. Madeline's shaking up funding. She's doing a new piece for the New York Festival. You're just so lovely, dear. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Apparently, there's a solo in it, but it's not going to a soloist because they're too busy with the Bayadeur tour. And she said I was on my leg. You were. I was watching. I'm going to get that solo. Uh, I got to I gotta circulate. Oh, wait, we've, um, we've got a company dinner thing. Good show, Abigail. Thank you. Would you mind bringing home some activated almonds and kombucha out of everything? 
Thank you. Oh, and toilet paper. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce our new utterly fearless and ferocious leader, your artistic director, Madeleine Moncur. said the words literary prodigy. Yeah, no one said that. Last right there, from the top. Then you're all going home. We'll never be the same. Five, six, seven. We're coming out. to go on stage as Persephone. If you dance it the way I know you can, your future, it's written in the stars. Feels like the final nail in the coffin that is my stolen youth. Dark. Nice. Go. Be amazing. You too. Negligence is clear. You broke your back the first time because of an incompetent teacher. You broke your back the second time because their theatre was an unsafe working environment. The National Ballet failed in their duty of care, no question. But we're now in a situation where we have both surgeons agreeing that the bones have mended. The craft around my screw is solid. It's hot. What about the two operations? How many months of physio? Legal fees? Yeah, none of it matters as much as you think. Pain and suffering, yes, that's a part of it. But the real money, if we're talking seven figures, that's in loss of income. We have to prove, had it not been for this injury, you would have gone on to a long, successful career as a professional dancer. How can you prove that? Well, the injury stopped you from dancing. It took away your lifelong dream. Now, the Nationals arguing you weren't ever going to be good enough. Well, they're wrong. That's what we have to prove. 
We have your exam results, your scholarship records, and my personal favorite, Miss Reed. Before moving to the Austin Ballet, you were principal at the National Academy? I taught Tara for three years. She had a technical and artistic ability that was rare. You're saying in your 20 plus years of teaching experience, it's your opinion Tara would have gone on to a successful ballet career? No. I'm saying Tara could have become one of the dancers of her generation. Now, I don't know my nutcrackers from my Cinderella's, but I believe that woman. I'm gonna do my best to get you a million. It's a wonderful festival. We're excited to be a part of it. No, I've told the board I'm choreographing. Exactly. Blowing out the cobwebs. <laughs> yes, you too. Hello. Hi. Uh, can I get you something? Okay. Like a drink or a spring roll? Mm. It's Tara, isn't it? Uh, the board showed me a tape of your company audition. They called me as a witness for them. Right. My lawyer mentioned something. They wanted me to say I wouldn't have given you a contract, but I couldn't do it. You were good. I wondered, have you been taking any classes? A few. I was for um, rehab movements. I broke my hip first six months in the core. Dropped in Giselle. Terrible partner. I was furious. I actually had the surgeon recess it more toned out. <laughs> Cheat, really. Have you given any thought to re-auditioning? I, I don't mean to overstep, but w we have some core roles coming up for the tour, and I just know if it were me, I would have done anything. When I watched you dance, I had an instinct. You might feel the same. Excuse me. who I am for so long, and if I take their money, I can't ever... It's not about the money. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but Tara, I watched you learn to walk again. If I settle, I'm saying I can never dance again. I can't. I can't say that. You seriously turned down a million dollars. You know who goes to those auditions? Tara. Tara. Sorry? Professionals migrating from other companies. Graduates just out of the top pre pro schools. Plus, your back is still screwed. Yeah, literally. All dancers live with something, and Madeline asked me to audition. <laughs> it, that doesn't mean you're good enough. I'm sorry, but no one takes 18 months off and then expects to get into the National Ballet Company. I know. It's like Natalie Portman saying she didn't need a dance double. It's offensive to the rest of us. I have four months. It's not impossible. <laughs> Technically, with the right trainers. I mean, I know you guys are super busy and I'm not expecting you yeah, to... Yeah, I'm busy. Your hip's up. And you're cheating your turn out. Really? For real? Oh, mwah. thank you. And you? Oh, oh my gosh. Ribs in. And. In, use the floor. In. Up. Up.
Thank you for everything. Last few months, I know I've been crazy. So I'm thinking hmm? you stay at my place five out of seven nights a week. You've got to start contributing financially. Did you just, did you just ask me to move in with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I just don't think it's good for your personal development to be such a freeloader. Do what you can do, right? You're gonna be amazing. Come in, please, ladies. Serious, look at my face. Go. Come here. Same to you. Thanks. So, hello. Thank you truly for your interest in the national. We have a big year and a split company with two international tours and the New York Festival. And no, I'm not sucking my thumb in the fetal position yet. <laughs> This means that we have several corps de ballet positions to fill. I know your work, why you've been handpicked. I've also stood where you are now, so I won't prolong this particular torture except to wish you the very best of luck. Ladies, follow Abigail and Eloise. They'll be demonstrating. I hope you're warm because we're starting with adage. Prepare and développe devant and rise up. Strong ladies. going to commit to being the dancer you were meant to be? She's at the pre. It changed me. Number 61. Uh, thanks. Were you competing? No, God. I was like 12 then. Number 8. And number... No, that's it. Be back here in 20 minutes for variations. Everyone else, unfortunately, it's not a fit for us today. Yes. Oh, ouch. Sorry. I'm sorry, but the panel's decision is it's final. It's all right, Dave. You have to see my variation. We have such limited positions. You told me to audition and you won't even let me dance. I dropped the lawsuit for this. This is not appropriate. Shall we get them to learn my new prologue? See who has a working brain. <laughs> Hey. 
Okay, go to the airport and get on a plane. This is the only solution. Plus, New York and I would definitely appreciate your awesomeness. I just feel so stupid, Kat. Come on, T. Bring her down. You know what? I'm buying you a ticket. What's the point of me being a D-list celebrity, possibly approaching C-list, if I can't make my friend's entourage? I can't let you do that. Well, you can. I swear, this place, unimaginable possibilities. It's exactly where you need to be. Think petal. Think of the fun we could have. I thought Kat's idea was for a like holiday. You eat some bagels, Lion King. I don't need a holiday. I need a contract. Right, OK. Uh, so what, you're moving to New York now? <laughs> no, 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 not at all permanently. It's just, if I could get one of the major companies to take me on, then even as an apprentice, then the National would have to know that they were wrong. No one could ever say that I wasn't good enough. But we should talk about it. Yes. Oh, we should. Can I do this in the concert? Hey, give me one second, all right? I mean, you could finish up the year and then if you want to keep teaching, there are schools in New York. I, I like it here. I like the kids. I like the center. I don't. I didn't mean forever. Tara, right, there is so much more to you than this. Okay. But just let it go. I tried. I was drowning. I want my life back. Okay, let's do it. Maisie, get in there. I'm sure you don't want me to come to the airport. That'll make me cry. After everything, we can handle a little bit of distance, right? We can handle anything. And then tomorrow, Kat's got you on the approved visitor list. Have you been watching? More obsessively fangirling. Oh, 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 All right, here we go. Camera set. And action. <laughs> Belle, my parents are going to be home any minute. How do I explain this? Explain that when you are made to fly, you simply must fly to pretend to I'm coming for you. That's a cut. Who have you become? <laughs> Welcome back, Miss Veronica. Thank you. 
Well, okay, admittedly there has been some tongue slippage in the past scene, but I did promise myself I wouldn't date a co-star. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you. Oh, I don't know. Xavier and I stuck together for at least the next few seasons. So the show's amazing, Kat. I play a magical fairy. It is what it is. It's amazing. This place is amazing. I can't believe you live here. We have to get Ben up for a weekend. Well, I keep trying. Boy never Skypes me back. Come and meet my shoes. Welcome to New York. I think I just handled it badly. We were moving in together and then a week later, I'm on a plane to New York. He'll be mad at me for a few days and then you know he'll get over it. I think it's more complicated than that. Christian really loves you. I love him. But I mean, I shouldn't go after my dream. How wrong would that be if I stopped being me for a guy? He's scared, T. He doesn't want to see you get hurt again. Watching you fall like that, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen. Do you think it's crazy? What I'm doing? God, I think ballet is crazy. I think that my call time is in two hours. <laughs> I promise. <clears throat> as soon as I get a contract, you'll get your bed back. Shh. Oh, oh, you're staying oh, forever. Oh, saw that coming. <laughs> 6,000 likes in 10 minutes. Well, at least if this whole ballet thing doesn't work out, I can get a job as your assistant, make you tea with twigs in it. <laughs> Did you just doona fart me? <laughs> oh, you disgusting. <laughs> but it smells like Christmas. How is Ethan? He got a puppy. I'd say break a leg, but you break nothing. You hear me? Now go. Then come back and have fun. No fun. Every quest. Bell. 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 Wow, this is unbelievable. Wow, of all the studios in all the lands. I thought you were meant to be in London. Yeah, no, there was like some stupid issues with the record label, so I'm actually back dancing now. As are you, huh? You're dancing with the American Ballet Company? Facebook didn't tell me. It's, it's still, you know, it's a work in progress. So I'm just taking classes around right now. Yeah. So, so I, I heard that they have to get to know you and then they invite you to formally audition? Theoretically, yeah. Marco, yes, queen! That poncho is so good. We should shop together. <laughs> um, we should... The non-company go out the back, so... Just go over there. Good, just get the arm away from the face a little bit. A little bit open. That's it, nice long line, beautiful. And fifth. Blub, 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 and first and fifth. Good. Can I trouble you for the gage derriere? Are you carrying anything? 
Into Ponche, please. And fifth. Long arm. Very nice. A little faster, everyone. Hey, great. Great. So do I. Yeah. Feel like she's your purchase. I want all. Thank you. I wanted to go to the score with you. I need to check the time signature and tip. Right side. There are way more opportunities here than at home. Listen, any favor you have, call it in now. <laughs> go to Barcelona, see Ethan, Miss Rain in Austin, and you beg if necessary. No. No, I need to do this on my own, like you. You're not relying on contacts. Oh, I would in a heartbeat, but I burnt my bridges when I cut the national. We're gonna bounce. Come on, you have to forget every song you've ever heard. This city is not about dreams coming true, okay? It's about hanging on when they won't even let you audition for profit share jobs because you can't get an agent and you're dumpster diving outside Taco Bell. This is my chance. This is my chance. My chance to feel alive. This is my chance. This is my chance. My chance to feel alive. DJ slash social impact impactor. Ollie here is an amazing singer. Yeah, I can send you my demo. Oh, and then branding, right? Like, right at this moment, the show broadens my reach, but I don't want to fixate too much on ratings or whether Huffington Post says we're Hannah montana a literary classic, right? I mean, what I need to do is ask myself every day, do I want to be that guy on the Disney Channel who's famous for five minutes? Or do I want to be a Hemsworth, right? Or freaking James Franco? No, he's great. He made some good points. And he's very pretty, right? So pretty, right? His teeth sometimes blind me when they go to the sun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Voicemail costs money, so it'd be interesting. Hey, um, 
Call me back. <laughs> I didn't think you wanted to come. Of course. Number one, Gerby. Can I go like this? Excuse one second. So how'd you go with your audition? Oh, I don't even ask. I don't think you're right for him. Look at what it might have been. Oh. To the boys of Chinatown. <laughs> I've been standing on canal. Stand next to me. Anyway, so I spoke to my agent and um, the show will pay for an assistant. Oh, no, no, I, I know you were joking, but we could hang out, right? You could make some different connections. <laughs> Thanks, but um, I guess I haven't been rejected by every company yet, so. <laughs> we're still trending. Kitties have gone bananas, but the art screen looks. Are you sure making that public to the world is not it? Are you sure that making that public to the world is a good idea? Oh, no, 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 it's amazing publicity with the showtime. And if I want to do a Sundance film between seasons, which is something that can actually be an award, well, then I really need to sure, boost my number. Sure, I just, I just don't know enough about it. Needed some air. It's ridiculous, huh? So they're calling us caviar on the interwebs now. <laughs> Cat, Xavier, caviar. Oh, like the fish eggs. You know what? I get New York hasn't been all sparkly baby unicorns for you. I don't mean to be like this. I knew it would be hard. I'm just. Correct. Okay. We clearly need some concentrated BFF time stat. I'm talking hardcore. You know the dance movies that I hate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe even a little bit of practice kissing the teddy bear? I'd love that. But maybe not the teddy bear, because I feel like my pash skills have definitely Oh, no, 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 no. There's Just... always, always room for fashion for <laughs> Come on. I'm going to go tell Man Candy. Hey, I think you're from Ben. It's officially gone up three. Minor hiccup. Um, there's this party where this incredible director's at. Lightning quick appearance. Um, we we have to go. You don't you don't have to go. Please don't hate me. Babe, how could she hate you? She's won the French lottery, I mean, right? Free flights, free food, free calm for what, like two months now? I said I'd pay you back. No, no, no. Please don't listen to him. You don't have to at all. No, um, can you give us a minute, please? Yo, Xavier. Hey! Why didn't you tell him I'd pay you back? I mean, hey, I could care less about the money. But come on, what are you doing? Trying to stick it to the national right, all universal wrongs? That plan's clearly... Tate's not working. You're so lucky. You don't even appreciate how lucky. Luck? Right, it couldn't be talent. No, I didn't mean that, it's just... You have your dream. You're acting in something that people love, and, and I feel like you're more excited about retweets and a guy that I don't think you even like than actually working. And you were always meant to be the special one. Really, T? You're gonna walk 20 blocks the wrong way. You know, we can't all keep apologizing. Your life hasn't turned out the way it was meant to. I think it'd be better, you know, for both of us if 
you know, you should just concentrate on what you're there to do. When? When what? When have you been doing this thinking? Because it feels like you broke up with me when I got on the plane and you're just telling me now. Maybe. We said we'd never hold each other back. Time. You're hurting yourself every day and I'm meant to just let you. I, you know what, I, I don't want to fight. I love you. But I can't be with you. I, I gotta go. When you fall asleep And I hope I'm in your dreams I'm waking up when you fall asleep Lucy, yeah. Uh, wow, I, I can't believe you live here. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it is an hour away from the theatre, <laughs> but we think the commute is okay. worth it. And uh, and Ben, I've been messaging, but uh, I don't know, I guess he's flat out with the season. Uh, Ben's been staying with us for a while. <laughs> yeah, he's around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. She's here. At least be wearing socks out there. Hey. All this country air has made Miss Rain very maternal. I mean, how does she also has gumboots now? She didn't tell you. I'll uh, stop the bubble. Okay. That's not the best status update. Here's a photo of my lunch. Funny video of a cat. Hashtag acute myeloid leukemia. Anyway, I'll get you back. Out 
does that even happen? Is five-year clear with... White blood cells. Not who founded the Benster. Cannot win them over. The oncologists don't know whether it was from the original cancer or... From... It's just bad luck. You don't understand it better than most. No, my back is nothing compared to... Hey, let's not compete over whose body screwed them the most. Hey, under 86 post-stem cell transplants, no infections. Situation's being managed. Ribs, ribs for everyone. Oh, <laughs> okay. It was what, nine? No, it was ten. Ten weeks in hospital. Ten weeks. Yeah, and these two yeah. took me oh, in. Oh, well, we're what? never going to let you stay in that hovel. What do you mean? It was disgusting. It was a bachelor pad in downtown Austin. <laughs> <A bachelor pad. laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, it had cockroaches as big as some of the horses. It was it absolutely was. disgusting. You're the one so, who's Tara, tell us about your travels. <laughs> you, you know, yes. I did a really I similar road trip at your age. Actually, it's been less travel and more auditioning. You're dancing. I don't know if Austin Ballet holds open calls or maybe I could take class sometime. Sure, yeah, you can take class anytime, but uh, we have had our fair share of funding cuts lately, so are you after I wouldn't need to be paid if there was an apprenticeship even. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Obviously, I've, I've had a lot of time off, but I'm strong now. My scans are good. And um, I think the experience, it, it even strengthened my technique. But Tara, you know that we are both huge fans, but the fact... Tara can audition. Silent you later. I don't need to see a class. What solo have you been using? Aurora Act 3. You've been able to do that since first year. It was Persephone, your company audition. Do you remember it? That's a bit heavy, don't you reckon? What about something fun? I don't know. The Dying Swan. You need to go on stage as Persephone. If you dance it the way I know... Let me know. run through. I'm not assessing yet. looking haunted. Oh, it's not my favourite memory, but I'm not scared. No? No, I'm angry! Well, what are you angry about? Oh, you're on a list! The universe for doing that to Ben! You... You promised me. You told me to choose this over everything, and I did that. And it's never gonna happen, and I'm nothing without it. Choose something else. Choose nothing for a while. You're young. Tara. Tara! Sorry, I'll apologize. 
apologize. So, I guess I'm angry too. Yeah? I reckon the key is making it productive. Tried. We even got this whole revenge fantasy thing. <laughs> proving the National Ballet wrong. Oh, well, that's perfect for you. <laughs> Genius plan. I wasn't exactly inundated with offers from other companies. <sighs> anyway. Let's stop talking about me, please. See, we're... We're millennials. If no company exists, we start our own. Maybe you just got to think bigger. The Nationals going to the New York Festival. Yeah. Why don't we show up? Underdogs. Go all David and their Goliath. List your reservations. What's what? I don't know, like three weeks away and... On oh, the pesky cancer thing. Isn't there a chance dancing could make you sicker? It's what makes me me. Giving up is game over. You get that. Help yourself to anything. Thank you, sir. See ya. Have a good day. A reboot of the Persephone story. It'll, it'll be cathartic for you. <laughs> really? Come on. Hey, double suit new in. It turns me. I'm terrified. Uh -huh. Drop. Remember, I've trapped you down in hell, OK? Wait, hold on. How did she let that happen? Because she's meant to be the princess of the seasons, and she's a passive protagonist. A what? Protagonist, it's a writing class thing. So she's stuck in the underworld and she feels like she can't use her powers, she can't bring spring. It's, it's always winter. How do we show that? Mm, I don't know. Give me a minute. Oh, oh. hey! Hi! Oh. Oh. I can lift you. It's not a sign of weakness. Oh, I'm meant to be a hell god ruler. <sighs> what if it's more equal? What if... Persephone loves Hades too. What, the guy who's keeping her captive? I say, we ditch the creepy kidnapping element, turn the story on its head, and they're two people, and... Hades and his world aren't what she thought she wanted. She... she thinks loving him will hold her back. And gather all the queen. she can't see until she's lost him and, and hurt him and when it's too late that what they had together, it made her happy. And maybe that's more important than the life she'd imagined for herself because it was real. Ben Starr? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Uh -uh. yeah. Nuh-uh. No. <laughs> We're celebrating. <laughs> 100 days post-transplant. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they are totally doing it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not a sign of weakness. What if we just travel it more? You're home early. Which means we are delighted to accept your collective into the fringe section of the New York Ballet Festival as emerging choreographers. Oh, 
such good news. And I'm not even going to say anything about you opening my mail. Uh, it was addressed Ben Stara? Mate, we made a promise to your parents. I'm an adult. Look, it's not that I'm not grateful for everything you guys have done. It's not about you letting us down. Heaps of people go back to work after 100 days. They don't dance at an elite level for no reason. I have a few good reasons. Oh, well, none that are worth jeopardising your entire recovery. You don't understand how it feels to be told you'll never dance again. He thinks he's superhuman. He needs someone to be on the lookout for symptoms of infection. There's some literature. Even a rash could be... I couldn't have changed his mind. Performing is everything to him. Tara. I was wrong at the academy when I told you that you had to choose. My whole life was only ever about ballet. And now it's not. the names of famous dancers? All performed here. Yeah, well, Twinkle Toes, you and I are once at the Fringe venue. But you know the company's here. I'm going to invite Madeline to a show. No, what? No. We are so not company ready. What's the point of the mission? Hey, what are you two doing in here? Hey, mate. Uh, um, uh, 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 Madeline, yeah. Yeah, they're going to just cancel. I'm going to send it. Finger is on the e-bike button. Oh, fine, do it. Madeleine Moncur sent. Now, accommodation. Abigail and the company are in Soho, but personally, I have no problem taking advantage of Kat's penthouse. I'm fine with the hostel. <laughs> We're all in New York. It kind of screams reunion. I can't, but you should. Oh, stop being girly and mend the damn fence. I know. And it's my fault, but with Abigail, there's always this competitive thing, you know? And with Kat, I was self-absorbed and judgy. I'm hearing a lot of this and not seeing a lot of penthouse. Basically, I just feel like a massive loser when I'm around them. I just don't want to be in that headspace. Fine, with, with me, you're totally cool. Well, you're not exactly winning life, are you? <laughs> what was that? Was that a cancer joke? No, inappropriate. <laughs> Dreamers, holidays for me and you. <laughs> oh, that's Let's celebrate it's time. Right. On a faraway tropic island. Our sails on skis for only two. <laughs> <laughs> Up there in the starry sky, we'll fly. Suck a lot. 
Not to be around long enough to is the only get in here. I ever want to be. We met, and from the start I knew what to love. <clears throat> So I guess we can chalk that up to the inevitable. You pushed me. I'm provoked. What? No, that was definitely his back. This is the path we've been down, and you always circle back to Christian, like a pigeon. No, I hate the way he ended it, but even before I left, I wasn't happy. A, not his job to make you happy, and B, I'm still not buying. You guys are OTP. I don't even know what that means. Look, you can be in denial, but you and Christian, Persephone and Hades, I know you caper. That is what is inevitable, so... Please, keep your pity passions to yourself. It wasn't a pity passion, it was a passion of attraction. Well, try harder to resist me. <laughs> I think I just figured out what's missing. In a grief spiral. My fiery hell mouth has turned into a lame ass snow globe. <laughs> it's the metaphor for the perfect world, and she's the princess of the seasons. It makes sense that she ultimately. What, emotes through snow? <laughs> Dude, if I had the budget, I'd make it rain too. The public is getting restless. Really? Yeah, I think it's prostate issues. Oh, I could love some clarification on the new steps. There's no one out there. Let's just see what comes up. The sweetness of arriving in the future, knowing how one's life has already turned out, but not able to tell your past self. <laughs> Charming. Oh, Lloyd. Hi. More special effects today, but this is my headshot, my showreel, and you can just keep that. Um, any tips on how to get on the official program? The gala would be the ultimate, obviously. You just shoot for the moon. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. That's a, it's still a work in progress. I mean, I have all these ideas, but the execution was not But it's your work. Uh, Owls, yeah, yeah. I can't believe it came. It wasn't perfect just now. Your extension. No, was... I absolutely agree. I didn't mean it as a criticism, but there is undeniably potential. I wasn't wrong about that. So you're saying re auditioning is still a possibility? No, Tara, I mean now, tomorrow. You're here. I need a warm body. I'm offering you a place in the Corps de Ballet. Say yes. Yes. 
<laughs> Revenge fantasy on a silver platter? I know. It... Apparently there's been injuries. I, I don't know. I, I think I've been to start straight away, but... I can do the piece as a solo. You were hocking the stage anyway. Or, by Ask Golly, homoerotic overtones, award-winning. No, I promised I'd look after you. See, where? I'm fine. Come on. Is this or is this not the dream? Only since I was, like, five. <laughs> so, wait. I'm just... I'm, like... I'm in the company. Like, I'm actually physically in the company. What's it like? <laughs> I can't feel my face! <laughs> Can Like a cockroach, can't be squashed. <laughs> They're hideous, excited about everything. Behind! Now that they have a contract, they think they're safe. They're always eating. You don't look like you've been doing much of that. Really? Thanks. Arms! Oh! It's just been a long tour. This festival's intense. Can you make it look like something? I'd like to feel something other than nausea. She's under a lot of pressure with the reviews. They're saying the choreography is inaccessible, but that's actually the point. Sarah, you're behind! Eloise had a full breakdown. Arms! There's been three lots of stress fractures. Some people are blaming the choreography, but I'm like, maybe don't complain if you're not strong enough to do it. <laughs> Tara, you ready to join us from the arabesques? to push you too hard, too fast, but you are on stage tomorrow night. It has to be above 90. Thank you. Lovely. Fun, you're in big trouble, okay? <laughs> right. SL Crew on three. One, two, three. SL Crew! Okay. All right. Have
Hey. Hey, hi. Uh, sorry to find Stork. I just. The concert was today? Yeah. Yeah, uh, kids had fun. I will, done, Christian. Good. That's good. So I, um. Did you made it into the company? I did. I actually just had my first performance. Now, congrats. Now you. You did what you went over there to do. Feels different to how I thought it would. Well, anyway, um, I got a bit on here, so, uh... I miss you. I haven't stopped. I know it's been a long time now, but I just... Cool. Well, um... You know, we should catch up for lunch or whatever when you're back in Sydney. Take care of yourself. Urban legend in the making. And uh, Ben, is he okay? How's he feeling? I'm excellent. But I take it you haven't seen it yet. Seen what? Can you get to a TV? Hang on, let me let me find it. I'll read it to you. Okay. So they're saying on the cusp of award season, teen sensation Belle came under fire today after the release of provocative photographs of its young star Kat Karamikov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I saw another article that said the photos appeared to have been leaked deliberately. I'll call you back. Predicting a backlash from young fans and feminist groups. Insiders are deeming this a PR stunt gone wrong. We reached out to the Karamikov camp for comment, but it appears Kat's got its tongue. With the sun fading on one of the hottest summers on record, we look back at how our favorite celebrities kept their bodies buffed, bronzed, and at all times bikini ready. Please take your seats. This evening's performance is about to begin. Mailbox full. Please try again. Tara. Hey, I still can't get through to her. Adeline wants you to come in early tomorrow. I think we should both go straight up to Cat's Hotel after the show's over. Can you listen to me? She wants me to teach you my solo. Why? Madeline wants us both to learn it before the gala. You and me. First position. I got a time. That's insane. I'll talk to Madeline. Abs. Stand by on curtain. She's good in the core, but not a star. Madeline needs a star. <gasps> hey, hey, did you find it? Tara, Tara, where are you? I, he said that he... What? What did he say? Two shows in one day, but I... He said that he was saying... He fell. He collapsed. They took him to New York State Hospital, I think, but I gotta go. I gotta go! Say something, I'm giving up on you I'll be the one if you want me to Feeling 
so small It was over my head I know nothing at all And I stumble and fall I'm still learning to love You're starting cold Something I'm giving up on you I'm sorry that I couldn't get to you Anywhere I would follow you Say something I'm giving up on you Graft versus host disease. The donated cells have begun attacking his body. He's too run down to have any reserves. And the infection means he's also dehydrated, so his kidneys are failing. We are going to get him stable, but he should not have been exercising anywhere near that intensity. And I will swallow my pride. You're the one that I love saying goodbye. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Something I'm giving up on you Say something They're only letting two of us stay Said that we had rehearsals in the morning I explained to Madeline why you left She wasn't happy I don't even know if she still wants you to learn my solo I don't want the solo. Of course you want it. You don't need to do me any sympathy favors, okay? This is a company. A little bit of healthy competition is what I signed up for. Healthy? Ben's in there because we're all obsessed with proving that we're good enough to do this thing that doesn't even matter. Well, I keep going back to the moment when I got injured. You know what I felt? This huge relief. Relief? that you broke your back, you couldn't walk. I wouldn't have to find out whether I was good enough. I have an excuse to quit. You don't think I don't wish I'd get injured? Everything hurts every day, and I already know I'll never be as good as you are. What if... What if... I did it deliberately. I wanted to get hurt. Tara, you don't have magical powers. And I saw you, you fell, you slipped on a bead. You can make that happen. Let's just walk. Hold your core up and strong up there. down on the one and a once. Yes. That's a drift, not first. And. Strong. This isn't a little indie co-op. You don't leave a performance regardless of the circumstances. Go and get warmed up. You may as well still learn it. 
Um, I've been... I can't stop thinking. Back in Sydney. Did you tell me to audition so I dropped the lawsuit? Does it matter? I gave you a comeback. We all need a little extra motivation sometimes. Thank you. if you can manage them. Abigail couldn't, but it certainly is preferable. going yet, but it's about this girl. She had this idea of how her life was meant to turn out, which meant that she couldn't see that... Hello? Where? I can't... I see you. I bought a ticket. The plane was full, but I was on standby to Dubai, and then Dubai to, I don't know, it, I took the long way around. I figured it out. You were right, 100%. I wasn't. No, you were the one that was right. You're doing what you love, not because it used to be your dream, or, or because you, you think that it's going to make you no, worse. I, sh I should have said, when you said, I, sh I should have said, I miss you too. blame it on Xavier because he is a ridiculous human being. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I leaked it for a film that I didn't get. So I would seem edgy. Wow. Ooh, hang on. Mm. So it is your body, right? Excuse me? Sometimes they fight, like... What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Different bodies, so... <laughs> Did you just dig in a hole? Mate. Oh, dear. Well, <laughs> anyway, um, my skeezy image no longer suits the network brand, so, um, the whole show is on hold. Well, is not this a reunion? Nice to see you with clothes on, Katrina. Wow. <laughs> 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 If you're playing you and Ollie's playing me, well, you've got two days. What more do you need? It's your show. It wouldn't be right. No. My coat tailed. You're the one that created it. I just... I just had my whole epiphany thing. <clears throat> I love ballet and, well, I'll always love ballet, but... I... I just don't... She doesn't want to be a dancer anymore. Wow. What? What does that feel like? Well, it's liberating, presumably. 
Okay. <laughs> well, you got two days. Who are you gonna be? In the past, I've said that dance is the most revealing art form. But I'm no longer sure that's true. I think too often we hide ourselves. We hide ourselves in the execution. And while there's obviously merit in perfecting 32 fouettes, <laughs> I found my most rewarding moments, on stage and off, have been when I've been creating something new, something true. I am delighted to introduce the choreographers whose work across the festival has captivated us. From flagship companies to brand new voices, these are the storytellers who have transported us to different worlds. Okay, they're bumping in. Seems to me you still have a few connections in. Maybe, hopefully. Oh, uh, is this okay? Yeah. I think going forward, the real risk is you romanticising this. I'm not a dying hero in a John Green novel. Right. Well, um, if you're not dying, you can stop looking at me like that. Like what? I just think it should be illegal to wear clothes when you look that good naked. Not the lesson we're taking from this. The company's gonna see this as a major slap in the face. Yeah. And a breakout performance in front of his crowd is career defining. So. Hi. Hello. Hey. Are you ready? Yeah. Hey, um, thank you. Of course. And you? Yeah. Hey, the attitude turns. Do you mind if I take the I second one? I want you to not think about the steps anymore. Artistic abandon, your thing. I'm technical precision. You are much, much more than that. You know, I had the story in my head, but I could never see her clearly before. Because she was never meant to be me. And I love that she's you. Um, so <clears throat> just tell the story and try and have fun. Lots of it. All right, chuckers. She was just saying that as a motivational thing. Australia and Newman, a new collective from emerging artist Ben Stara. I was meant to change that. Choreography by Benjamin Tickle and Tara Webster. Thank you. Here we go. No regrets. Key music.
Stuck on the story? No. Break through. All right. I want you to dig deep for a second and imagine. Is that where ninjas in space? Close. Uh, Abigail, I'm going to start you again between Ben and Ollie, but this time, actually, what happens next is pretty great. Oh. 